You probably picture this when you think of a volcano. Rivers of lava, clouds of ash, destruction. But these fiery mountains are also a source of life. Volcanic soil is incredibly fertile. A lush forest sits at the base of Mount Merapi, a volcano on Java Island in Indonesia. That nation has more volcanoes than any other country in the world. With a bamboo ladder over his shoulder, a 56-year-old farmer treks into the forest. For more than a decade, he's been on a one-man mission to salvage orchids that are unique to this region. Musaman is a self-taught conservationist with no formal background in botany. He and his wife also run a coffee shop, but he's dedicated much of his life to cultivating orchids, considering them the jewels of the forest. He began his work to save the exotic blooming plants after witnessing the powerful eruptions of Mount Merapi. It's the most active volcano in Indonesia. The last major eruption was in 2010, lava and ash ripping through the area. The forest that used to be very abundant in terms of flora and fauna became devastated by the volcanic eruption. Various species of orchids were gone. Of the some 30,000 types of orchid species blooming in the world, 6,000 are native to Indonesia, with roughly 60 types currently found at the base of Mount Merapi. But many others have disappeared due to the volcano's eruptions. That's why Musamin started salvaging plants, over the years building two bamboo greenhouses to preserve some of the most unique orchids. Tending to them diligently, he has set an example for others. Orchid centers run by locals have sprung up in the forest around the volcano. Musamin has become a role model for other activists who care about the environment. We try to duplicate his dedication in other districts. Thanks to their combined efforts, at least 90 varieties of orchids have been revived over the years.